Well, hello there, folks. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing really good. Well, this just landed on the bench here. What we have is an ovation. Uh, celebrity. Made in Korea. Model number CC057. I believe that's what this is. Uh, so, we've got a bag with the uh, rosette and the knot in it. Um, this is just, you know, first glance here. I haven't even looked this over, but this is the thin line model here. It's real thin. Uh, all right. So just sighting across the top here, you can see we got some issues there. Uh, I'm going to say that's probably a broken brace up in there somewhere. And... I always like to look across the top and look at the binding. Yeah, you can see that the uh, the fretboard extension is sunk down in there as well. We'll put a straight edge on the top in a minute. I can see a big hump here. Uh, okay. And the uh, bridge is starting to lift. All right, the plot thickens, folks. Got some cracks here. The usual ovation stuff, you know, the, the wood will expand and shrink and the plastic won't. So, got two dots here in the uh, bridge, too. That's uh, a little suspicious for... Yep, there's two bolts in there, so... Wow, I almost got my hand stuck in the guitar. That one's pretty shallow in there. There is also some wiring hanging here. Um, I'm guessing that goes to the electronics, because this is electrified here. This is the electronics setup. Um, yeah, so let's stick the gauge on and check the uh, neck angle for the rest of you. So, you got it squared into the body, sitting on the fret wire, and, uh-huh, that is in need of a neck reset. Okay, so I've never reset a neck on an ovation. I do know that they have dovetail into this plastic, I'm pretty sure, in the wood block here. Now, there's no screws or anything, so it's not a bolt-on. That's basically what we're looking at. Okay, so this is going to need a lot of work. I'm going to have to take the bridge off. Uh, we're going to take the neck off. i got to get in at them braces and look that over and try to flatten this thing back out if I can. That's really funky. So, you know, it looks like it's dipped here and it's, it's humped here, so... We've got a few different uh, elevations to deal with here, I guess. So anyway, yeah, I know you're thinking like, wow, who would ever sink that kind of money into one of these? They're not a real expensive high-end ovation. Well, uh, a friend of mine picked this up. It was given to him. So we've agreed to uh, get it back and play in order. And uh, we're just going to flip it and sell it and probably split the money. So, you know, that works out. I'll put the labor in, get it up and going, and uh, he'll do the flip, and that'll be it, you know. Sometimes that's a, a good deal for me, you know. It's just an investment of uh, time, basically, you know doing this kind of stuff. I don't see a big expense trying to repair this. We're talking about glue and and some sandpaper maybe in a little time. That's all. So the first thing I think we'll do is uh, we'll unhook the uh, bridge. And while I got the fretboard, ex the uh, heating out, the iron out, I'll probably loosen the fretboard extension too at the same time. We'll do one or the other here. So... They'll both uh, get removed, so we might as well do it while we got the heat out and the pallet knife. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I got some paper laid down here just to kind of protect the top here. While that's warming up, I'm going to take my pallet knife here. 
run it over some sandpaper. I do this often uh, just to keep everything smooth so it slides in there nice and it also thins it down every time I do it. It's not really sharp. I mean, you could cut yourself with it, obviously, but it's more about thin than sharp. Okay. Okay, we got her pretty warm, and uh, my iron's shut down, but I'm just going to warm up my, my palette knife here. This iron will stay pretty warm for a while, too, even when it's off, so... It's kind of handy. You can keep reheating your knife and whatnot. Okay, here we go. So I've heard a lot of uh, horror stories about epoxy on these ovations. And we're about to find out. It definitely is uh, hooked pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's on there. That's for sure. And I hear a little cracking, which is not always great. It could be just the glue releasing. It could be uh, wood breaking, wood fibers. All right, so let's try from this side. See if we can't get her started over here. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, I think that's just glue, but... I've been known to be wrong before, so I want to jump the gun. Okay. I'm just going to try to work into the middle of it a little bit here. Fretboard's still pretty warm. That's good. Sometimes you have to reheat them, too, you know. It's just part of the gig, but... All right. Let's come in from this side. Boy, that's some tough stuff, whatever it is. We'll get her off there, though. If you're stubborn enough, you'll get it, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it can take a lot of time and effort. Be very careful doing this. Sometimes these can slip out and you get your hand with that. It ain't going to be good. All right, I'm going to heat my knife up again. Yep, we got to put some more heat on. I'm about halfway up there, I think, on the extension, but it's really hooked from there out. I don't know what it feels like. It feels like iron in there. I mean, that glue will not give up at all. Uh, you know, the first section of it come off okay. Usually if it's uh, not epoxy, it will come off really easy. You can just, you know, work your knife right through it quick. This is a little different, so... Uh, I'm just going to try to focus the heat right up in this area where I need it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out, like I said, if it's epoxy or not when we we finally get it out of here. Uh, I think just for now what I'm going to try to do, like I said, is unhook this and try to get that bridge loosened up too. And uh, hopefully we can get it off here. All right, we got the big rigging out here. I got the big spat spatula out, folks. I'm going to just pull that back a little bit. That'll help kind of open that up for me. Okay, it's working. I can see the uh, fretboard extensions popped right up there pretty good. I have noticed that my palette knife is getting stuck in there. I think the glue is you know, cool them down on the knife itself and uh, re-adhering at times. Okay, so that's right to the uh, 
the body joints right there. So we know we're unhooked. I'm just going to go a little bit past it. That's it. Okay, so the fretboard extension is free. The neck still uh, pretty solid, so we'll have to get to that after uh, we get the bridge off. And I'll have to investigate what I got to do. I'm not sure if you can uh, use heat probes on this. It's a little different because you got plastic in here, so not a hundred percent sure yet. That might be the option, though. We might drill in, put a couple probes, and and uh, do it that way. It probably will not be in this video because I want to address this too and get this this uh, loosened up and removed while I got the iron out. So let's get to that next. Okay, so I'm taking a socket here, and I'm going to go up inside and uh, take the nut off each one of these. I've already got one started and all loose, so, uh, you know, I could steam these little uh, dots off too, and you could take them out that way, but I think if I get the nut and washer off the bottom side when I pull the bridge, uh, it should be okay. Now, i got to watch it because there is an under-saddle pickup here. Uh, when I take this bridge off, I gotta be really careful not to, uh, break that, you know. Uh, let's see. That feels good. Okay, I got that one started too. So whoever tightened these up originally must have just did it by hand. Because they weren't over tightened or anything that probably would have helped from the bridge oh okay so there's one of the dots it just popped out not sure where it went but all right this will be helpful when i'm putting the bridge back on I'll have something to align it with. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck this pickup down in there out of my way. And uh, I'm going to get the iron back out. And we're going to heat this bridge up and uh, get that off. I might as well push that other screw up. Take that dot with it. Okay. Well, so far so good, I guess. You know, you never know what you're going to run into on this stuff, so... All right, let's get some heat on there. Okie doke, here we go, folks. I'm going to sharpen up my knife again. Clean some of that glue off it. Oh, yeah, it's coming off, some of it. I still don't know if it's epoxy or not. I, I really couldn't smell it or anything. Usually super glue or epoxy's got a kind of a sweet smell to it. I'm not recommending that you s smell it or inhale it because it's not good for you. Not at all, especially when you heat chemicals like that. That's turns them into a gas and it's usually more toxic. Okay. I'm going to check on that, see how it's going. It doesn't take a long time, really, honestly. I'm just putting this uh, rag on top of it because I don't want to discolor or burn it, you know. And again, you know, this guitar is stove up pretty bad, but I still try to practice good techniques and clean techniques. That's how you, how you need to approach this. If you're working on an old junker, yeah, it's... Uh, a little less nerve-wracking, but uh, that's when you want to still perform the same uh, operations like it's an expensive guitar. It's just good practice. All right, let's pull that off there and see what we got going. All right, let's rock and roll here. Now, I know there's a gap in the back, so I'm going to start there. Again, I've heard a lot of stories about epoxy on ovation, so... Now that feels pretty sweet. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of glue in there. If it is, I don't think it's epoxy. It's, uh, it's releasing pretty good. 
but we don't want to speak too soon. Well, that's pretty solid out there, so I'm just going to work my way slowly and uh, I'll try to get these tips released. Those are still pinned down pretty good, so I'm going to work towards them in this direction. And uh, hopefully we can get them released. Ooh. Now the reason it's probably still hooked is because the bridge is rounded in the center, and it probably didn't get a ton of heat down on the wingtips, so that might be why they're a little more stubborn here. I can hear a little crack in there. things up again. I gotta get my uh, palette knife hot. That way I can get these wing tips to release better. Alright, so I'm working my way in from the, the wing there. Still hooked down though. It doesn't want to give up yet. Alright. There's a piece of finish that come out under the bridge. So they probably glued it right to the finish. That'll be my guess. Now I gotta really watch it on that side because of that pickup wire, so. A little tricky there. All right. It's hard to judge whether it's digging into the top. It doesn't feel it. I try to keep my knife kind of tipped so it stays flat when it goes in. That's really the trick, because if that gets a hold of some grain, it'll chase it, you know, into the softest point. I'm going to have to come in from the front, I guess, maybe to get this thing unhooked. Which is not my first choice, but... Come on, baby, come off there. All right, that felt pretty good right there. There we go. Okay, I think we got her unhooked. I'm gonna make sure though. All right. Okay. There's a piece of finish that come out from under the bridge, so I don't think we need that for anything, but all right. Okay, I see one little one little hang up right here. Okay, there it is. Well, there's enough lead on the uh, pickup wire so we can get it out there. Uh, that come off okay. There's still a little bit of wood, but that is definitely epoxy. There's no question about that. I can tell just by the look of it. It's clear, super hard. It does have kind of a sweeter smell to it. So yeah, you can see, I'm guaranteeing on the top side of that epoxy, this finish, because I can see finish all the way along here, okay? Uh, it's not the end of the world. We'll make it work. Again, like I said, uh, I've got these two bolts that are going to help align that, and it'll actually help with the installation, because I can pinch them bolts down and then uh, put some go bars down on the wingtips and keep everything tight. Uh, and be able to get out all the squeeze out and clean it up nice. Okay, folks, so that is uh, how the ovation bridges are glued. Um, I think I'll tape that back out of my way in a minute. And I'll have to go in here and I'm going to clean all this out all the way around the uh, profile of the bridge. I'll, I'll set it back on there where it belongs and uh, get everything line back up through these two holes and I'm gonna make a mark all the way around it so that way I can uh, 
you know, strip that lacquer back. So when we put it back on, it's going to be wood to wood. And that'll help keep it from lifting. Okay, folks. Well, this one's getting pretty long. I'm going to probably stop this video and we'll do a part two on this one. Uh, I got to do a little bit more digging and prying here and see what's going on with this neck joint and uh, see if I can get it apart. I'll certainly uh, try to video it, and uh, if not, I will definitely explain what's going on, how I got it off. You know, I won't uh, BS you guys at all. All right, well, thanks again for watching, folks. I really, really do appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Be good. Okie doke.